So, what I want to say, life is about experience. Life is, is about living, fully live. Life is not always about luxurious. While you walking, you buying a big house, you buying a big car, but you don't have no time to enjoy this house, to enjoy this car. And that's why I prefer, I prefer the European way than American way. Listen, in Europe, people, they don't care if they have a big house. They don't care to have a big car. They don't, but they care about traveling. They care about eating healthy. They care about spending time with the family and friends. After work, we go to take a drink. We go outside. We go to laugh. We have one hour break. So we have four weeks vacation and pay vacation. And if we have good health care, but the U.S., you can work hard to make money. You have to choose. And I will not speak bad about the United States because let me tell you something. It's my favorite country in the world. The United States is the best country. But you have to know how to live in the United States. Don't be a slave of the United States. I love the United States all, from all my heart. But I will never be an American, right? Because I refuse to live just to live for work and just walk, 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 walk. I don't want that. I want to walk. I want to live. I want to experience the world. I want to eat healthy. I want to be happy. When I die, I know I fully live. And I think it's a mindset, not that, that I think. It's definitely a mindset. The reason why I'm like this, I was in ways in this country. I was raised in a country people, they know how to live. I was in ways in, in the U.S. I moved in the U.S. as an adult. And I refuse to change my mindset, my mind, mindset to become like an American person. Because I refuse to just be this materialistic person just walk, 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 walk. I don't even have time to eat. I don't have time to sleep. I don't have time to travel. I travel one time a week, one time, one, one time every year, two times every year, waiting until I get my uh, retirement to start traveling. I want to travel young. I want to be strong. I don't want to wait when I'm 60 when I'm seven, I need to travel. So you have to make a choice, and that's why you need to visit outside of the United States. To so I'm speaking specifically for black people in the United States. I will, I will advise you to start traveling. Because one thing that I always hear people, um, especially majority of black people talking about, it's they exhausted living in the U.S., not everywhere in the world is like the U.S. Not everywhere in the world you feel like you have. You have so much pressure. And it's like you're in competition. And especially you're a black person. It's so hard on you. No. No. That's why you have to start living. You have to start. I always I encourage people to visit the world. To visit be curious about the world. It doesn't matter you visit anywhere you want to. You might discover a place that you love and you decided to move there. And you don't know how happy you can be in this place, right? I, moved, I visited the United States. I was in high school in France. I was like 17. And I, I go back. I went to New York. I went to Canada. I went to Florida. And I kept coming back. And I decided to move in the U.S. Why? Because I see it's a place that I can make more money. But guess what? I I never change my French way. I always keep the way that I want to live life. I want to be humble. I want to understand. I I will not be that uh, materialistic person. I will not put money before my time, before my health, before people. I care about the world. So, living in different countries give you so much. You are rich mentally. You have so much wisdom because you have different culture. 
right? You are blended with so many cultures than just staying in one place and you just think everywhere is like that. I plan to go to, to visit Greece. I plan to go in Italy. I plan to go in Portugal. I'm speaking about France because that's where I was raised, but I never live in those countries. And I have a friend who lives in Greece and a friend who visit Greece. He has great thing to say about Greece. So I don't even know where I'm gonna die. I plan to go to Africa. I, so you have to be curious about life and be brave. Stop complaining. Make a plan, work hard, make some money, and start traveling because you know, I want to see what the world has to offer. I want to see if the world is exactly like the US. It can be, it cannot be. So have you ever met someone, they, ha they seems like they have it all together and they look exhausted. That's why I love self-care. Self-care is my priority, health and self-care. Because this, this type of people, they work hard. They work very hard, but they forget about themselves. There's no problem to work hard. It's good to be a hard worker. I'm a hard worker, but I know when to take a break because if I'm not healthy, I cannot make money. My health comes first. So that's why you have to teach yourself to put yourself first. You have to learn that money, materialistic things, is not gonna is not what going to keep you healthy. And another thing, if you are not healthy, you are not rich. A poor health is a poor wealth. You can be very rich in your bank account and you poor because you don't have any health. How are you gonna do to enjoy this money? So you're working hard to live for the next generation, which is good, but you also work hard, you wanna enjoy your money. Not just working hard and die, leave it for someone behind. That's why you really need to think about your mental health your mental health spend time with yourself self-care do whatever makes you make you happy do whatever make you happy I encourage everyone to start shoveling start visiting one country you cannot I start visiting another state and from there you're gonna take it and go out of country and don't be scared like oh I don't speak the language I went I stopped in uh, in Iceland I don't speak um, I, I don't speak uh, German I didn't feel different actually I enjoy it because it's different you need to be open minded you need to be curious about life. God created us different because you want us to wonder about each of us. I look brown, you look white, she looks dark, she looks so we very different. But that's the beauty about us because we can come together and make a change and learn about each other's culture, learn about each other's languages and become smarter. That's why you have to be curious and go ahead.